So C here is also we move on to C. Uh, this is just a continuation of the previous uh, part. Oh, sorry, we move on now to C. From in the previous video, I ended on B. Let me now start answering C. So C, we just is saying within this region, and then these are just limits. Let them not confuse you. This is the limit from zero to two, and then about the y-axis. So if it's about the y-axis, meaning the limits are supposed to have, uh, yeah, the limits that are supposed to have, uh, actually, they're supposed to be y here. Now, since there's no y, we're going to know how we're going to put it. So we'll know how we're going to put it, yeah. We'll, we know how to manipulate this mathematically to change that to y. So... If we're integrating this about the y-axis, it means that we need to make x squared the subject. So when we make x squared the subject, we're going to have 1, uh, one being equal to, I mean, x squared being equal to y minus 1. I mean, y, 1 minus y, sorry. So here what you are going to do now is it's just a matter of uh, simplifying I mean it's just a matter of integrating this this is already squared so the, the we, I mean we need to find the what the okay if okay, yeah we need to find uh, the limits in terms of y these are limits in terms of x but how do you find the limits in terms of y you just replace this zero where there is x to find y so when x is equal to zero our y it will just be equal to one so the first limit that we have here is one and then when x is equal to two our y will just be equal to so this is this will be two squared plus y and being equal to 1 so meaning my y will just be equal to negative 3 1 minus 4 you get negative 3 so our limits that we have our lower limit is negative 3 and then our upper limit is 1 so what we're going to do here we just now integrate this so since we're finding the volume you put the pi outside you say volume is equal to that the upper limit is 1 lower limit negative 3 and then we are integrating this 1 minus y the reason why I will not square this I know it's because uh, my x is already squared there so I'm going to say with respect to y and I don't know if I made a mistake in the previous video but I think I made a mistake instead of putting the x on this question here instead of putting the x there I put I mean instead of putting the y I put the x all right so we integrate that we're going to have uh this would be y then minus y squared over two and then you put your upper limit one and lower limit three don't forget to put your pi outside so here is just a matter of plugging in the limits now integration or volumes generate generated by revolving objects or curves is just as simple as this so what is y you put one minus what is y again you put one over two then in the next uh, the next one you put negative three what is y minus negative 3 over 2 over 2 like this then you don't forget to multiply everything with your pi so here is just a matter of simplifying I know everyone can simplify this expression here none of us can fail to simplify this ok 
Okay. Let us now move on to the last question D. So D is saying we have to rotate this about the x axis. So we've not been given the limits on this one. Let's see what we're going to do. So our volume is always found by integrating that you put pi outside integral of so since our y is already squared so what i'm going to do here i'm just going to multiply this x to the power of 4 two out x to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 6 and then we're, we're differentiating this with respect to x so we integrate this we're going to have x to the power 5 over 5 yeah of course we need to have the limits b and a minus x to the power 7 over 7 I said don't forget to put don't forget to put your pi then your limits there are we have our limits being equal to b and a don't forget to put your limits as well so i think me personally i can just end here because i've not been given the limits here so when i integrate this multiply it with the yeah, if you want, you can simplify it further by plugging in a and uh, b there. So, meaning you start with b to be b to the power 5 over 5 minus b to the power 7 over 7. And then you say minus. Yeah, minus a over 5 to the power 5 minus a. 7 to the power I mean divide by 7 and then you put now your lim your what you multiply everything by 5 that's how far I can go because I don't have the limits in this case if I had I would have solved it I would have plugged them in and find the final solution so let's proceed to the next question Sketch the region R bounded by the cave, this cave here, and another cave. Find the volume of the region bounded by the two caves. If it's uh, if it is rotated about the x-axis and the y-axis, then find the ratio of the two volumes created. So you first, according to this question, what you need to know or to understand here, you first have to sketch the caves. So sketching these two caves, we are going to have uh, when y is equal to 2x squared. When y is equal to 2x squared, you sketch the cave. Let me sketch it here. So this one is um, this one is a parabola. This one is also a parabola. Yeah, but this one is facing either up or down. But looking at the value of a here, the value of a there is the value of a there is a uh, positive, meaning it will face um, up. And then it has it 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 has its um, turning point at zero comma zero. Why do I say so? When you replace um, a turning point divided x is equal to zero, when you equate this to zero, you get zero. So meaning the turning point to be at zero comma zero. So for this one, it will be to look like this. Okay. So let us now find uh, 
let us now draw this other curve here this one is also a parabola but this one is either facing to the right or to the left now since the value of a there the value of a there is uh, is yeah is positive meaning it will face to the positive like that so i'm sure the region which they are looking for is just this part here so now to prove that let us i mean to find the limits we know that we already have a zero there now how do we find this other number here we solve the two equations simultaneously so since this is y that is y so meaning i can replace 2x squared where there's x y there's y there uh, which implies that i'm going to have 2x squared then everything will be squared being equal to 4x so when you look at this this can also be written as 4 x to the power 3 minus 4 x being equal to 0 so 4 x then we have x squared there minus 1 being equal to 0 so meaning one of the values of x will be 0 because when you equate this 4 x to 0 you get your x being equal to 0 and then the other the other one the other limits that we have here where these two curves are meeting uh, yeah uh, the, the other two limits that we have here are going to be x i mean are going to be are going to be found by equating this x squared minus one to zero as well which implies that we're going to have our x being equal to plus or minus one so we have three limits here <coughs> so it means that the curves are meeting the curve uh the curve this these curves are meeting at three points now how do we draw that now so let us try to check this uh let us try to check if if whether we've drawn this correctly or not let's find let's try to find the turning point rather the vertex of this line of this uh, parabola so let us find the turning point we know that at turning point dy dx is equal to dy dx is equal to zero then when you make y the subject there you are going to have y being equal to 4x raised to power half so the root of 4 there will be 2 let me just do this So it's, it will just give us the when you find the square root of that. I'm just going to get as uh, I'm just going to get this two x raised to power half. So now when you differentiate this, subtract one from the power there, you get negative half. So you have two over sorry all right I was saying this will be equal to 2 x raised to power half then to find dy dx 
mind you the limits that you found were x being equal to 0 then x being equal to plus or minus 1 so the turning point for this one uh, when you look at this parabola it's just 0 comma 0 as well so applies to this so they were all turning at the point 0 comma 0 so you have something like this oh sorry this is what i drew at first then you also have something like that which implies that from these limits that we have we are only going to use 0 and positive 1 yeah so it's now easier for us to find uh, it's easier for us to find um, yeah it's it's now easier for us to find uh, the, the 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 volume when it's been notated at the x axis so this is going to be equal to so what we have here is one then the region what which we're finding there is I know some of you might think why I've been delaying to solve this question. I had some technical challenges here. Yeah, so this is what we have. We have our lower limit as 0 and then our upper limit as 1. So what we do here now is we, sh we, we integrate that. So to find the volume, we're going to integrate. Uh, the volume our upper limit is 1 0 then don't forget to put your pi there and then we're subtracting the y1 and then the y2 so it's going to be 2 or which one is on top first so this one is the one that is on top and then th that one is down so meaning we're subtracting uh, the one on I mean the one down from the one on top so the one on top is this one so i'm going to have y squared uh minus y squared so in short what i'm trying what, what i'm trying to say is this we're going to subtract 4x and then minus uh 2x squared squared the reason why I have not squared this for x is because the y here is already squared so I'll just pick it the way it is and then the x so here's a matter of simplifying and integrating which is straightforward so this is about the x-axis so we integrate that we're going to have 4x minus sign four x to the power of four So we integrate that to get 2x squared minus um, 2x squared minus 4 over 5 x to the power 5. And then the limits there we have 1 and 0. So here it says the matter of plugging in the limits and then you find the answer. Now if you want to find it when it rotates uh, about the y axis, you just change instead of now saying y squared minus sun, you, d you change to x squared now. Then how do you change to x squared? So you get the one that is on top, then subtract the one that is down. 
so the limits will also change you plug in zero there you still get zero so zero will still remain when you plug in one on any of these uh, two equations you discover that the answer that you find will just be the two which is just there so meaning the limits will now be from zero to two and then when you are rotating it about the y-axis uh, you check you try to check which one is on top so you're going to be subtracting this one meaning uh, this one from this one which implies that you make x squared the subject here so when you make x squared the subject you're going to have two uh, sorry y over two So you have y over 2 there. You have y over 2. Then minus this one here. You make x the subject. You get y squared. Sorry, you get y squared. over 4 then you just have to square that since x is not squared so you have y to the power 4 over 16 when you square them so this is what you are going to integrate to find the volume this is what you are going to integrate so when you integrate that you get y squared over 4 minus y to the power 5 over uh, 5 times 16 you get your answer to be 80 and then here is just a matter of now plugging in the limits of which I know everyone can do that and then you don't and then after plugging in the limits you multiply with your uh, pi then you have found the volume generated when that when those two curves have been rotated about the y-axis now to find um so to find if i'm um, if i put this as my v1 and then this as my v2 to find the ratio of the two volumes created just say v2 over v1 so this is the ratio v2 over v1 so in short uh, what i'm trying to say is the answer that you find on v2 you put it on top there put it you write it there and then the answer that you find on v1 you also write it there and you find the solutions so let's now move on to the last question The last question is almost the same as what you just from doing. Yeah, it's the last one. Uh, it's almost the same as what you just from doing. So you are finding the yeah. So this question is also saying we. The region R enclosed by the curve Y and that Y. Um, then they are telling us to find the volume of the resulting solid of a region, or when the resulting solid of a region of that region uh, is rotated about the x-axis, the y-axis, and the line y is equal to and the line x is equal to 2 so how you do this you first have to sketch the two lines so you have you have something like this 
the line y is equal to x is just a line which moves like this so this is your x that is your y and then you also have this line y is equal to x squared so there this one it has a minimum so and it has the center a zero comma zero so it's going to be like this and when you solve the two equations uh, simultaneously you discover that you have x minus x squared being equal to zero and then meaning it's either your x is equal to zero or your x or when you solve this simultaneously you or your x will, will be equal to i mean you have one minus x being equal to zero meaning your x will now just be equal to one so the limits that we have are zero and this one here which is one so the region they are talking about is just this region so how do you find now when this has been rotated about the x-axis when this has been rotated about the x-axis we have already learned on how to find these two so let us now try to look at these remaining two parts so to find the volume we know that this is the formula the upper limit one the lower limit zero and then since we are rotating this about the line y is equal to two well okay let us start with this one so that we at least we follow them properly let us start with this one about the line x is equal to yeah, anyway, this one is just okay. Let's just start with this one. Y is equal to 2. So about the line Y is equal to 2. So I'll put my 2 somewhere, maybe. Because when I replace this one in the in that, it means that this is also 1. So when we're rotating this about the line Y is equal to 2, it means that 2 is somewhere, maybe there. So this is the line of axis we are going to rotate this um our cave <coughs> so as you can see here uh when you are rotating this about that line if this is going to be if this is going to be a radius If this is going to be your R1 and this one is going to be your R2 it means that when you rotate this <coughs> we're going to have R1 yeah, plus that that's the radius we're going to have then R2 plus the cave, that's the radius we're going to have for R2. So in short, what I'm trying to say is, for this uh, line here, uh, first you, you need to check which one is on top on this one. The one which is on top is this, uh, this line here. Then down is the cave. So meaning we're subtracting the cave from that line. So in short, what I'm trying to say is, you say X, minus i mean x plus 2 you square it then minus this x, x squared plus 2 squared so Y 
then we are integrating all this with respect to x so here is just a matter of uh, it's just a matter of it's just a matter of simplifying that expression so this one will give you x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus you also find this you have x to the power 4 then plus 4x squared Mm, plus 4 the x the limits of course are 1 and 0 so it's just a matter of now simplifying this further and then you integrate it and then put plug in your limits then you are done with this question so let me also show you on the Alright, so same applies to when you are rotating it about this line. So I'm just going to add 1 to that, to, to, to the functions. But before you add them to the functions, you need to make x the subject. So on this one, it's already x. So x is going to be just equal to 1. And then on the other function there, you just have to replace where there's x. Um, okay, let me write it here. So you are going to have x is equal to y. Uh, so you are going to write which one is on top when you are rotating it about the line x is equal to negative 1. So meaning you are going to add. You are going to add 1 to every radius. So that implies to say we need to we need to write. So this one, the curve which is on top, this one. Uh, x squared which is just y so I'm going to have y plus 1 squared and then minus y squared plus 1 I've not squared this y because the x is already squared there so you have your v being equal to pi the integral of 1 0 and then there you're going to have uh, when you simplify that you have y squared plus 2y plus 1 minus you have y to the power 4 plus supposed to be in brackets plus 2 y squared plus 1 it's just a matter of simplifying this and then yeah it's just a matter of simplifying it and then plug in your limits and then find your final this is supposed to be dy find your final volume So you can simplify this further by saying y squared minus 2y squared, you get negative y squared, then 2y, you don't have y this side, so you leave it, and then you just write it 2y, 2y, uh, then 1 minus 1 there you get 0, so you also have negative y to the power 4 so this is what you get so here you just now integrate this it's now simpler you can easily integrate this then after integrating this you get your solutions yeah thank you very much for watching these tutorial videos 
I just uh, just pray that next time I mean next time we're going to have I'm going to start making the tutorial videos uh, for coordinate geometry so yeah I'll make sure that I do that before your exams uh, see you in the next tutorial video